efforts of uh, Jose Maria, referent of the project. The topic was very interesting and we started working as soon as possible to think about a solution for sustainable In fact, the topic of new technologies for green mobility and the reduction of pollution are fundamental for the future of our planet. At first, we had to think about the, pro the project, considering the limits of electric vehicles, to search a solution as sustainable as possible. We know that electric vehicles have some problem related to battery life, disposal, weight, and the recharging time. Without uh, compressed air could be the right way to power the vehicle. In fact, wind turbines use compressed air storage system to storage energy. It is the reason why we had the idea uh, to project a compressed air car. Compressed air vehicles are light, they have uh, very short recharging times, uh, the cylinders are completely recyc recyclable and uh, have an infinite life. Despite the few kilometers of autonomy, these, these vehicles are good for urban mobility. In fact, we could think about a bus that often stops to recharge its cylinders. We think that this solution can be a great competitor of other vehicles if the motor efficiency and the power train were improved. At uh, first, we bought the chassis without the transmission and the engine. We measured the weight of the chassis and used a CAD 3D software to shape the cart in two and three dimensions and to lay out on board elements. We used all the powertrain elements as you can see now. Okay. The first element is the compressed air motor. It's an air vein motor by Atlas Coco with this uh, technical data. So in our motor, uh, as we can see, the max output is of uh, 1.18 uh, uh, kilowatts, and the speed at the max output is about uh, 630 uh, rounds per minute. Uh, and the torque at max output is uh, 18 newton meters. Uh, the air consumption at max output is uh, about 22 liters per second and uh, the weight of this motor is uh, only 2.5 kilograms. The cylinders are uh, scuba diving composite cylinders with a pressure reducer fixed at a pressure of uh, 6 bars which make the motor receive the right airflow. The main uh, characters are uh, lightness. In fact, uh, composite compressed air cylinder with PET internal liner are about 30% uh, lighter than uh, an aluminum internal liner cylinder and about four times lighter than a steel uh, cylinder. Um, have uh, an unlimited life, uh, but uh, this composite cylinder withstand more than uh, 12,000 ch charge cycles uh, and, uh, and the test pressure. And uh, have a barrier effect. Uh, in fact, the particular design and the refined internal compound that uh, constitutes the liner of the composite cylinder ensure compatibility with a wide range of uh, gases, guaranteeing an extraordinary barrier effect. Uh, the main uh, advantages of uh, our um, air cylinder is uh, the excellent resistance to abrasion and uh, impact, the excellent on resistance, uh, and the limited uh, ma maintenance. Um, the significant weight reduction due to the use of composite cylinder allows uh, the operator to work longer, given the greater cylinder filling. Uh, 300 bar with less effort thanks to the weight to reduce the number of cylinder. The motor is suitable with traction, so the transmission ratio is uh, unitary. It has been realized with uh, two sprocket gears of 70 feet. The transmission is a chain in drive, which consists in a roller chain and two sprocket gears. The air motor has a node power and torque to allow a gear ratio of one. 
This means uh, the two gears have the same number of teeth, which, which is 70. The center to center distance of the gears is uh, 200 millimeters. In our car, that is a pneumatic car, we install several kinds of walls. This is because to uh, control the airflow and the pressure of the air. We install three walls, uh, two are manually operated and one is automatically operated. We start from the air flow control valve, that is uh, the a valve that controls the flow in the exhaust port. It consists in uh, this small valve that inside the, there is a screw. By screwing it, we can control the flow, flow rate. There, there is some uh, uh, technical data of our air flow control valve. On the bottom left, there, there is the uh, pneumatic scheme that is constituted of uh, this box with uh, iron arrow uh, on top of uh, an arrowing. This means that this valve reduces the flow. On the top of it, there is the diagram. This diagram represents the standard flow rate at six bar because our cart works on six bar. Also, we have to watch the curve of gray one, one half because our identification number of our valve is gray one, one half. Then there is uh, some uh, technical data of our valve. There is, uh, for example, the flow rate, maximum flow rate, that is for uh, 4,300 liter per minute, the operating pressure that goes from zero bar to 10 bar, the operating temperature, the, uh, also some information about product weight or product material. The second valve that we install is the ball valve. This valve acts uh, like a uh, key for us uh, for our cart in fact uh, if it uh, if is uh, this uh, valve is closed there is no flow that arrives on our mo pneumatic motor so the cart doesn't move and this valve consists in a small lever we moving by this small lever we move the ball inside the valve so we permit the flow to enter in the circuits and there is also a technical data of the ball valve. There is also the identification number. In this case, is J1 alpha. There is also some information about the standard flow rate, the maximum flow rate, that is 11,500 liter per minute. Some information about the operating temperature that goes from 20 to 180 centigrade. Another information about the materials and uh, the if it can be lubricated or not. Then we have the key component of our cart. In fact, uh, this proportional pressure regulator valve have uh, uh, the main task to control the uh, flow that comes from the cylinders. In fact, the flow that comes from the cylinders have a pressure of uh, 250 bars. And we have to reduce this flow at six, six bar because uh, our motor is alimented on six bar. We can also make it work on seven bars, but uh, this will uh, uh, make the consumption and the FNC higher. And, uh, uh, okay. Uh, okay. Moving on the technical data, we have the also the pneumatic scheme. On the top of it, there is the diagram. We have to see the curve of the operating pressure of six bar. And we can see that the maximum flow rate go up to 1,500. One, 1, then moving on the tables, we have the, uh, uh, the identification number that in this case is VPPM6. And uh, we have also other information about the uh, electrical data, for example, the operating voltage and the if you need some kind of protection or electrical protection. We have been working on this project for three years and we have faced lots of difficulties. We have spent hours making calculations, design mechanical elements, painting the cart, contacting the providers. We have worked a lot, we have dirt, we have taken the challenge and we succeed. 